What's up everybody, it's Vodka, and I'm back with another video, except this video is a little different, it's actually on a PS2. So I've had this old PS2 for a while, and I've been trying to play uh, my Japanese import of CBS2, but I can't play it because I have a US version, and I was gonna first um, try to region free it, but um, I did a little more research, and I think I'm actually gonna be doing the, the mod for it which will make it play from the from the hard drive. So I'm gonna do that mod today. So here's the stuff you need. You need a SATA drive. I had one lying around. Hopefully this one isn't broken because I actually replaced it a while ago thinking that this one might be going, but it might still have a little bit of life in it so I can use it to try it up. You need a USB stick. You need one of these guys, which is, um, I got the SATA version of the, the network drive that's supposed to go into the PS2 in the back here. And there's an original one that actually does network, but this one doesn't. It's just like a fake one, but it does have, as you can see, like one of these SATA connectors that will connect to the new SATA drives versus the old IDEs. So then you need a memory card. So these are pretty cheap. This is like 10 bucks off Amazon. This thing's like 20 bucks. So let's get started. So before you start, you're gonna have to copy some files. You're gonna get offline and onto the USB drive. I think the goal is to have the files copied from the USB and then make a loader for for your um, hard drive and then copy, I think, the loader into the memory card of the PS2. So I'm gonna leave a link below for the tutorial that I'm gonna be following. And that has all the links to all the files. Now that the network drive has been installed into the back here along with the hard drive inside, USB in here, plugged in, plugged in the TV, and then ready to turn it on. So apparently I think I can only play my imported game here uh, if I had ripped the ISO and then put it on the hard drive. I don't know. I didn't do that much research on it. Uh, that's what I found out so far. I'm not sure if I can actually play the disc itself. So I thought the disc reader won't, I thought I was reading online, the disc reader won't read the Japanese version of the disc. Um, so I had to got this like super old, uh, DVD drive that I had lying around. This thing is probably over 15 years old now. It served me quite well. So I'm gonna use that to rip this image and then put it on the hard drive. Okay, here we go. I put it back in, got the image onto the hard drive. And we're going. Let's see, yeah, see? That's the Japanese on here. It is my Japanese version of the game. I can finally play it now after buying it for so long. I've been sitting here. So here we go. We can we have the PS2 version now. We can test the differences between the Dreamcast, PS2, and Naomi. And the PS2 version definitely runs the fastest, but I think I wanted to get it just because um, in case tournaments decide to run on PS2s and I need to train for the timings of PS2s because this game is very time sensitive. So that's why I wanted to have the PS2 version as well in case I needed to play on the PS2 for a tournament. So there it is. There's me getting um, Dream Week Boot loaded onto my PS2, and now it is hacked, and I can pretty much throw any game on there. So thanks for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, give it a like, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.